What's going on once again everyone, Monkey Dude 22 here for another Xbox tip, trick, or tutorial video. And in this video today I'm going to share with you some steps that can help you reset your family passcode on Xbox 360. If you do find this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more great Xbox tip, trick, and tutorial videos just like this. Now there's a lot of half-truth information out there and many websites that have specials reset codes which will essentially factory reset the console and allow you to bypass the passcode. And while this is mostly true in that reset codes do exist, the problem with many of those websites and other videos is that they either have old codes or the wrong code. What you need to know first off is that each code is specific to the type of console and what version you're using. So that's why 90% of the times those codes do not work. But in this video I'll show you how to reset the code on the console if you know the password or where you can go to get the actual reset code you need for your console so that you can reset it yourself. Now let's start with the basic console steps and the method using the password you would have set up when creating the passcode. If you're using a pre-owned console, skip ahead to the timecode on the screen right now because it's likely that you didn't set this up and there's no sense in you trying something you would not know. So first off, what you're going to want to do is head on over to the settings tab and select family. Here it's going to ask you for the passcode that was created. Try to enter it again just to be sure, but if you're not able to remember it, select Reset Passcode. The console will then ask for the password which you put for the reset question. If you enter it correctly, the console will allow you to view the family settings. If you don't know the password or code, or like I mentioned previously, if you purchased a pre-owned console, the next step is to reset the passcode. To do this and see the reset code you'll need, you'll actually have to register the console so that it appears in your devices list. What you're going to need to do next is open up a web browser and on your PC navigate to the link on screen. I'll also put a link into the description below. And real quick I just want to make note that this will only work if your Microsoft account is considered an adult account and if the console is registered in your name. Okay so here we are on the device registration screen. Take a look at the list to see if your console is indeed registered. However, most Xbox 360s are not unless you have sent it in for repairs. If you see it in the list, fantastic, you're good to go. Otherwise, you'll need the serial number off the back of the console to register it. It's located near the HDMI port on the console. Now, once you've confirmed that the console is registered, we need to move on to the next website, which will allow you to reset the passcode. And that is account.microsoft.com slash devices. Once again, the link is on screen and I'll have it in the description as well. Now here we are on the home screen for any devices that you've used with your Microsoft account. What you'll need to do here is locate the Xbox 360 console that you're currently using. If you see multiples, you'll want to verify the console is correct by clicking on Device Info and Support. Once you've verified the console is correct, click on the option that says More Actions and then Reset Passcode. You'll now be greeted with a screen with the proper reset information for your console. Write it down and save the information because you'll need it for resetting the console passcode now and in the future. Now that you've got the information to reset the console passcode, head back to the console and over to Settings and then System. From the System Selection screen, select Console Settings and System Info. On the system info screen here, you're going to want to enter in that code that you received from account.microsoft.com slash devices. Once done successfully, you'll see a confirmation screen. And now what this will do is reset the console's defaults. It won't affect game data, profiles, or game saves, so rest assured. You will need to reset up any network connections and any additional settings you may have entered on the console. Now after you've selected yes, your console will reboot and bring you to the initial setup screen here. Select your language, location, and any content controls or network settings here. Or you can do what I'm doing in the video here and just press B to bypass all of this and set it up later. Once you've completed those initial setup settings, you'll be able to select a profile and then use the console as normal. This time, however, if you head back over to the family settings, you'll no longer be prompted for a passcode. Make any changes you need here or reset up the passcode as needed. And that's all there is to it. 
If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please let me know by leaving a comment in the comments section below. I do my best to answer them as quickly as I can. And if the video was helpful, please make sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. I'm MonkeyDo22, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.